Gators, MJ here with the next episode. In this episode, uh, it's going to be the tale of two swingers. Um, this episode, I think we're going to fill in the front uh, side marker lights. We'll get some uh, putty on there. I'll use the uh, Evercoat Metal Glaze. Um, it's two part. Got a hardener you got to add to it. And uh, I'm going to tape off the areas I when I go to sand and stuff and when I put the filler on. I don't want to get it on like the trim or the uh, body line here. Don't want to mess that up. And here's a good tip too. I learned this from another fellow plasticator. That to keep the fuzzies off your tape, put them in a Ziploc bag. Makes sense, huh? <laughs> Alrighty, let's get started here. the body off of here. Put the tape out of there. Just little pieces, don't need don't need a lot. You put it right on the edge. have a bit much there so find my scissors here they actually work a little better now my uh, my thumb's been uh, cooperating and there's that one and we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and tape off this uh, body line here so I know where to stay away from just helps you know Kind of roll that under, tape it, and it won't come back. So that's what we'll have. It's just like that. Unwanted areas won't get it. I'm gonna cheat here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut some off of the uh, what you might call it here. Off the roll. This will keep it out of the areas. Like I said, we don't want it. Cause you know we just we can't have that. <laughs> just not right. Okay. Makes it easier for the cleanup and stuff. You know, nice little trick. Um, I've been taping stuff off like this just to preserve areas, cause you know sometimes they're hard to put back in. And if you never dealt with the uh, filler or any kind of like squadron putty or of the sort there. Makes it kind of tough. So, yeah, I know a lot of you don't get to see pictures of me, so we'll take care of that too. And uh, okay, that takes care of that. And uh, oh, here we go. We'll just go ahead and uh, go from here. It's a nice sunny day, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. Got the blinds all open and. Uh, See what we can do. Feel really good. It's been a while since I've been up here, so we're gonna try to correct that. It's called balance, and I was out of balance for a while. Too much going on. So it's cold outside, and I'm not doing anything outside today. I'm not gonna roll any tractors or slip on any ice or <laughs> anything of the sort, you know. So, alrighty. With that, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll aim this back, and uh, let's get started. You ready? Really ready? Here we go. Um, yeah. We'll go right about, uh, yeah, that looks good. We'll go right there. Okay, I need to grab some cardboard. I use little uh, cardboard squares that I cut, and I mix on it. Next question is, I cleaned the bench off, and I don't know what I did with my spreaders. Where, oh, where could they have gone? We're done with that for a little bit. Move this off the side so I don't get it. We're going to, we're going to play in the bins, I think. Got to be up in here somewhere. I know I put them in. Uh, airbrushes. Uh, old 
fan style with the hose for propellant. Uh, yeah, pencil, carpenter pencil, lead pencil. What do we got in here? Uh, sand and sticks. Um, this is a pretty good investment too. Um, got this from Dollar General. In fact, I bought two of them. One I bought for stable, um, so I can mix it quicker. Just pour it in here. Because if you see, it has ounces on the side. Go a little closer here so you can see it. And it's glass. So you don't have to worry about anything affecting it. And it's easy to clean. If you pour paint in it and, oops, forgot about it, notice it the next day, uh, pour a little bleach in it. It'll take care of the paint. It'll take it right out of there. Nice little trick. Don't use metal caps so it rusts them. I don't know if you know that. You do now. Somewhere... Over what's in here. And that is my 36 Chevy pickup grill resin. And that's for another project down the road. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this for a little bit because I have no clue to what I did with them. So give me a little bit while I find them. Hmm, my remote don't want to work. Found them. Well, most of them anyway. I know I have more, but they're like, you know, scattered. <laughs> okay. Let's get started here. We'll go ahead and use a bigger spreader I have here. Some people call them paddles. I call them spreaders. That'll work. I cut them down to different thicknesses. Oh, wait a minute. There's one. There's another one. Yeah, same width as that one. So, don't matter which one we use. Um, these aren't real big to begin with. They're probably, they might be three times that size. good friend of mine years and years and years ago gave them to me. He lives up in Indiana. And I still have quite a few of them. And I still have these that I cut. So, okay, well, on that note, let's get busy here. Let me, uh, I take my glass off so I can see what I'm doing. Believe it or not, didn't need bifocals, but let's see if we can get this stuff to work. Ooh, hasn't been open in a while. So... It's got a nice little uh, applicator on the top. You just squeeze. Oh, get rid of that chunk. Don't want that in there. That'll mess things up. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. Don't need a whole bunch. Have to get a rag. Clean that up with a little thinner on it. That'll take care of that. So, I'm going to need the uh, tube a little bit. Um, when I put it on the shelf, I put it this way, so all the liquid goes to the top. So, I'm just going to turn it around. You're still going to get a little liquid out when you do this anyway, but liquid won't do you much good. you got to have the uh, cream. So, let's see how we fared. Looks all right. I'm going to go on, we'll go on this side here. That yeah, should do it. I want it to set up pretty fast. I probably won't be doing any sand tonight, but let me show you what I'm doing here. Okay. I mixed it kind of hot, which is good. So it'll set up, but you don't want to set it too hot too fast, you know. And it just like falls off. That's not good. Won't stick to anything. If you notice, it's got a light blue color to it now. Which is good. I won't be needing all this, but I need some of it. Go ahead and mix it all up. Hopefully you can see how I'm doing this. Okay, she's ready. Set that up to that side. Grab my little applicator. That's why I cut them, so I can use them.
back over. We'll get this side. And with the tape, it really helps. First rule is, don't play in it. Yep, starting to harden up already. This is a, probably going to be a two-part process, but that'll give you an idea. Hopefully you can see it. So that'll set up. We'll let that cure. So there we have it. We'll let that set. We'll go in there and sand it. And then uh, probably have to give it another coat. Kind of a waste because they usually don't do this unless... Oh yeah, see it's like a rubber. See, it's like a rubber. I can't even... Uh, I can almost put a dent in it. So that's good. Sometimes if I got to work it a little bit, I'll mix it a little lighter. So we'll put them on there. Slide that off over there. <coughs> Let that sit, and uh, I'll go back to me here. Pretty cool, huh? Not too bad. Yeah, I'm probably going to break everybody's monitor, but, you know, eh, what the heck. Things happen. Okay, we're going to show, let's see, what else do I got? Oh, let's see what I did. Let me see what I did with the wheels here. A friend of mine, Cassie's. Um... They're really cool. They're Mopar big and littles. Um, let's see if I can uh, get a picture here. Well, let me turn a little bit. There we go. I gotta clean them up, which is no big deal, as with any resin. We'll uh, see if you can uh, make that out. It's a Mopar deep dish. That's what's going on in this car. I, you know, you know what? I wasn't even thinking. I should have. I've got to fill this uh, license plate area in, so I may work on that here in a little bit. Let me find one of the front wheels. There we go. And there's one of the Mopar fronts. So that'll work for that. And in here, I have Mopar dog dishes. Mind you, I have to clean them up, but... See what you think of these bad birds. I don't want to go too close there. So that's a really cool effect for this car. 